Hi guys, morning. It's uh, Saturday, September 1st. My group has, star group has started. I know you can't really see because of the sun. And the problem is, is if I face the sun, I have a hard time seeing the screen. So it's kind of a catch-22 for everybody. So, eBay from Big Bertha. That's, uh, so you can't really see her. I was hoping you could see birth. One of my, one of the first problems you're going to run into, uh, selling from the road is storage. Um, I'm fortunate that Big Birth is on the good size. Um, thing. How are you, Serena? Um, but you have to understand that I still have storage issues. Now, I have a lot more space than most people. Uh, for example, there's the guy next to me. Place. Uh, it's about 28 foot. It'd be very hard to operate out of that. But my under uh, my my basement storage which is the underside of the rv and one of the things i tend to do a lot is i'm gonna try and turn this camera around hey guys is the back of the car tends to be become storage for those who didn't see yesterday these are the the uh, playstation games that i bought um that i'm gonna run through my machine um, and actually see what I can do with, uh, so today I'm going to focus on getting my place cleaned up and ready, uh, Q4 right around the corner. I really would like to have, um, where I'm making about, I'd like to be doing about a hundred dollars a day by the end of the year out of the RV. Uh, I think I can. I'm not sure. I, I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent positive, but I'm pretty sure that I can. Um, when does Q4 start? It officially starts depending on how you keep your records. Q4 stands for fourth quarter. Um, it officially starts the last three months of your financial year for the business. Mine is a, a, a normal calendar year, so my fourth quarter officially starts. October 1st. There are some people to play with their dates a little bit for tax reasons. I don't fully understand all that crap. Uh, my, my year runs January 1st to December 31st. So Q4 um, um, Q4 will be really Q4 is going to be October 1st through the end of the year. But it really runs uh, um, mid-September through mid-December. And the reason I'm saying mid-September is because mid-September is when you need to start really thinking about finishing up Halloween. Um, somebody was commenting on eBay's uh, third-party shipping service that they're going to create and how it's going to be for the larger sellers. Um, yeah, it's going to be for guys like me with replenishable stuff. I don't agree with what they're doing. I probably won't participate in it. Um, but here's what I know, guys. You can have limited space and still make a decent living. You have to find the right items. I'm still playing around. I haven't found the right item for me. Um, I really like CDs. I think I'm going to give up the DVD idea. It's too, it, it makes media, disc media all of a sudden becomes too big. What are the right items? I don't know, Jimmy. What are the right items for you? Um, you know, uh, what do you like? Um, what, what, what do you like to do? What, what are your hobbies? What are things like that? I, if you came here for me to answer your questions about what to sell 
good luck. Um, I'm about teaching processes and procedures, uh, but I do have I do have uh, some other products that I want to sell on eBay that are not hard to store. I've been thinking about how about information. Um, no, don't. Sorry, I'm just saying. Uh, a lot of people come asking, well, what, what are the right... I don't know. I, it, if I knew, I would tell you, but I really... there's What's right for me is not always right for you. If, Jimmy, if you really are serious... Let's address this. Uh, Jimmy, and, and don't take offense. And if you do, I'm sorry that you did. But let's, let's address this. If you think copying what somebody else does on eBay is going to work for you, I will promise you it won't work. You may make a couple of dollars, but you have to have your own plan. You, I can't tell you go buy uh, coffee cups at Goodwill. Okay. Uh, I, I guess you're just going to have to stay confused because I tell people what I do to give you ideas. Um, so let's talk about that. If, if you came here to copy somebody else's eBay business, it's not going to work. Can I get some ideas of what to look for? Like see this Donald Duck coffee mug. Um, I found that in a thrift store for 50 cents. This coffee mug would probably sell for nine to fifteen dollars on eBay, and with the right shipping methods, you could actually make a living with them. I don't know the coffee cup market, so I don't sell it. I bought it and bleached it and cleaned it for my own personal use because I like it. So, hey, Wyatt, what's up? So, you really need to find your own lane and method of how things work if you if you feel that i'm mean or rude or whatever I, i'm sorry i apologize i am who i am i do this more for my grandchildren than i do anybody else so that they can see what i went through to build what i have and that's just how it is um you really need to find your lane, whether it be um, closeouts. Some people buy pallets of closeouts in health and beauty and make a fortune. I have no interest in makeup and mascara. Okay? I don't need an eyelash curler or any of that. Hey, Greg, what's happening? Hey, Lynx Surplus. Uh, I just... I... Uh, I'm here to tell you what my problems are, what, things that I run into. And right now, storage is my big issue. I'm running into... Okay. Everybody say bye to Jimmy. Jimmy's gone. Bye, Jimmy. I... I'm... I, ha I have a group of people, and I don't know who they are, that come up with all these new users, and they come in and they just start bombarding me with, with questions to try and goat me. I have decided that uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to tolerate it, and if you start like that, I freaking ask you real quick. Uh, I don't know if it's the right thing or do or not, but... It's how I'm operating. <laughs> Sorry. Um, anyway, storage is a big issue. I only have a limited amount of space. So to make money in an RV, I, I, I was doing a couple of things. Yeah, Wyatt, I actually have a 20-foot, 8-foot, 8-by-20-foot box trailer. Um, 
with a 10,000 pound floor in it, which means I can put a race car in it. It was designed for a race car. Uh, it's brand new. <laughs> I towed it from New Jersey to Florida and it's sitting in Florida. Um, hopefully it makes it through the hurricane. Um, but time for football. How do you have football? So uh, must be. It's not even nine o'clock here, so you know it, I'm not used to football being at eight eight thirty in the morning. Um, but college games on the East Coast. Yeah, I didn't think about that until after you said it. Uh, for me, storage is going to be an issue. So, I've been putzing around and farting around. Guys, listen, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, and many of you are following me thinking, oh, he's got the answers. I don't have the answers for an income from the RV. Uh, I make a good living from my RV because it has a desk in it. And I do a lot of, uh, my business requires me to do desk work. It's not buy and sell on eBay. I love buying and selling on eBay. The Disney pins, for example, are a great item to buy and sell on eBay. And I'm going to get more into the Disney pins. Um, CDs, like I was starting to say, um, CDs, the, the, I was originally, I looked at disc media. That's too big of a category. It really and truly is too big of a category. Morning, guys. Um, what I think is I need to find the right genre for me. The right little niche of the CD market. And one of the things I noticed was I bought a bunch of uh, game CDs that are not in cases with no books. And um, everybody says, lot them together and sell them. And there's a lot of people that sell scratched up game disc on eBay in lots. Um, you got to get them pretty cheap. And I really don't know where to get them pretty cheap. But then I found that you can uh, test these things, play these things, work them, make sure they work, do all the things you got to do. And they actually bring a couple of dollars for the disc only. So I'm thinking about maybe that. Maybe the gaming genre uh, of media, of disc media, is a good area for me. Yeah, both, I've seen that as well. Um, he's saying buy uh, short runs of silver. Um, plugs. I don't. They call them coins. They're not really coins. They're one ounce uh, token style that have a design on them. Uh, I don't know if anybody's seen my American flag. I showed my American flag that's in one ounce of silver. Uh, why? Yeah, there is a ton of uh, of inventory out there. But what I'm thinking is it's. Uh, it also doesn't require a large amount of space to store a large amount of inventory. If I'm selling disc only, if I'm selling just a disc, you know, that takes up a lot of space. That single disc inside, that single disc right there, does not take up a lot of space. Now, this one I won't break apart. This one I'll keep. I mean, it's Lego. It's Indiana Jones. I don't know what the disc is like. I Guys, I really wanted to help this lady out, so I just bought this stuff. So this thing could be all chewed up. It's actually in pretty good shape, uh, considering. I probably can run that through the buffer, and it'll be like new. And I honestly think that's what I may do. Um, because I like warehouse work. As crazy as it sounds, I like 
the repetitive craziness of a, of a day. How you doing? No, I can give you. I probably got a glass cup. Let me see what I got. Give me, give me one second, guys. My my neighbor needs a cup. Let me see if I can help him out. One thing about the RV community, everybody helps each other. Oh, I need a. Give me one of the. Our next door neighbor needs a cup. I'm going to give him one of these plastic ones. Give me one second, guys. Oh, sorry, babe. I'm on YouTube, so I got a little bit better both going on. Did you take a shower already? Wow. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> I appreciate it. Keep it. Thank you. My it's even got a plastic lid. My name's Edward. I'm John. How are you? Have a blessed day, sir. So. I have a disc. Scott says, Scott, I guess you missed me. Uh, Scott says, I have a disc cleaner and you will get more for that. For those, I think he means for those games. I bought one, a JFJ uh, uh, Easy Pro or something like that. CD cleaner, polisher, sander, polisher. Just, and I bought it. Um, because I wanted to get, remember, if you remember, I wanted to get in the leave. How much was that thing? It was, uh, I think I paid like 170 Wyatt. Excuse me, I got the one with the extra polish and um, extra polish. Uh, Brian Dobson made a lot on it with PLR. PLR. Um, would burn it on the CDs as it sold. If you develop an info series, you could sell on USB drives, etc. Um, that was something I was going to get into when I was talking about this inventory storage issue. Guys, information sells. How to do something sells. Uh, how to how to. I can make a series on how I build variation listings on eBay. Burn it to a CD or a USB, like Brian was saying. Are we froze? No, I'm not froze. You're froze. Uh, one, Scott's saying it was 159. Thank you, Scott. Um, I could put information on a CD, or I could put it in a PDF file, and you can download it from Gumroad. Uh, like if I developed a. Um, an infomercial, an information packet on how I do. John is froze. How about now, guys? Am I still froze? Walter says he needs to learn PPC. No, I'm not froze. You're freezing. No, I'm not. I'm freaking hot as hell, man. I'm in hours. I mean, you know, I'm in Nevada. It's a hundred. It's over a hundred already. Um, some people are seeing me froze. Some aren't. I shouldn't have any issues, guys. But understand something. Um, we are. I'm in the desert. Uh, I'm in Laughlin, Nevada. It is a holiday weekend, and this park is slammed. Uh, there's a lot of people coming in for the holiday so guys listen um if you if you think outside the box you can make a good living in an rv i know information sells so i was thinking about selling information you also got youtube um i don't make a lot of money on youtube but i do make money from when i do the webinars so i'm still selling information um I'll be honest. Today started my my uh, work my Q4 workshop. I'm not excited about doing three months worth of work and then it's gone. That three months worth of work and then how do I package it and sell it again? It's just it's like having a job. <clears throat> I like doing it for you guys.
Greg says, Greg says, John, between your content and information on the internet, anyone can do what you do. If you put the time in, most will not because it's hard work. Two sales since you've been live. Cha ching. I have no idea what I sell on a day, guys. I got rid of that freaking notification. I can't stand it. It got to the point. I had one that sounded like a rolling coin. And we used to like to hear it go off in restaurants because people always looked for the loose change on the floor. Um, listen, there's you could sell information. You could sell games. You could, what you What I'm quickly learning is you need to find an area your lane, your niche, get in it and stick with it. I think you're going to see all the electronics gone by the end of the week and me not buy any more regardless of price. Um, it's just not what I'm looking to do. Then there's the... Uh, some people take... Balta, I think he's referring to my class. That's not what I'm talking about, Balta. What I'm talking about is if I made it into a package, if I put that information in a package, you could purchase it when you were ready. First of all, first of all, because I was able to sell it over and over again, it would be less expensive uh, because my time to create it would be less. Uh, Austin, the package is two hundred and ninety-nine dollars, and there is a, there will be a link in the description of this video afterwards. If somebody has the link, they can drop it in. I need to get better about linking this stuff. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm not. I'm really not a salesman when it comes to that stuff, uh, but I need to be. It is a steal. It really is because you're getting me for. For, we figured it's a hundred, about 105, 110 days of time. It started this morning. Uh, the Facebook group is live. There's people. I don't know how much action's going on in there. I did do a live video before this. There's, and there's going to be a ton of information. I'm actually going to build a listing on Amazon. I'm going to show you how to do the pay per click, and then I'm going to give you the ASIN so that you can list on that exact listing that I built. Uh, that's one of the things that I'm going to do for you. We're going to do uh, a Walgreens series of how we wipe out Walgreens for Black Friday. Um, there's, a, there's a bunch of stuff going on. Um, but guys, you got to remember, limited space in the RV. Well worth it and getting Scott too. Yeah, you get Scott. <laughs> you get Scott. Um, Scott, Lindsay, I don't know if you know this. We also got Jason T. Smith coming um, to do a webinar for you. We did, we did finally hammer out that. <laughs> Scott appreciates the course. Uh, I love my fans, man. <laughs> I love my fans. Um, Scott, we did secure Jason T. Smith, who's going to be doing a webinar for us on... Uh, um, music on music media uh somebody says i don't know jason jason had a, a a thrifting show on tv on spike tv for two years uh jason has also appeared several times on pawn stars because he lives in las vegas um if you guys if you don't know who jason is look up jason t smith on facebook and you'll be surprised. This guy's got a lot of credentials, and I was able to secure him for a webinar, a one-day webinar. Uh, yes, he's doing the CDs. He's going to do the holiday CDs. I sent him pictures of one of my thrift stores here locally, and the guy was drooling. He asked me if I could go back and take some pictures close up for him. Um, it is a gold mine because... I am sure there's nobody picking in this area. The the uh, Walmart clearance here is overflowing, and there's stuff to be the, there's stuff that makes money that nobody's touching. The Goodwills, all the electronics are sitting there. 
I bought a bunch of stuff for a dollar. There's nobody coming in and buying this stuff. Um, I went to I went to the the Boys and Girls uh, Club thrift store here locally, um, and there is a ton that hasn't been gone through. Um, Austin, my problem with that is, I, I'll be honest, the problem with the the me going is it literally will take me a week to dig through the media a week there is a couple there's probably a thousand vhs tapes there's a couple thousand cds there's probably five or six thousand albums and there's 500 to a thousand cassettes uh, forget about DVDs. We, I won't even try to count how many DVDs they have. Um, this is the local Boys and Girls Club, and they just have mountains of stuff. Now, they do go through it and get the better stuff. I, I mean, they have a new Windows. One of, the, one of the things I seen was Windows 95 on floppy, brand new sealed in the package. Um, so... Yeah, uh, there is a ton of stuff. There's a ton out there. If you really get serious and start looking, there is a ton out there. Um, I just don't know that I want to do music. Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards the games. And the reason I'm leaning towards the games, guys, is because I can take them out of the package. The better ones, uh, the, the, the rougher ones out of the package. Polish them and sell just a disc and get rid of the packaging um a lot of times i don't know if i can find one right off the rip uh, a lot of times here's one a lot of times there's no book you know so to send all this weight you know and spend the time to take the sticker off and clean everything up is really not worth it um where i can flip it and make 200 percent sorry i got a bug um i can make 200 or 300 percent on my investment um how do i get the chat to appear there it is i've been doing good with kitchen stuff see there's so much uh then the other thing with the ebay the ebay from the rv is eventually eventually i may so it's too much work it it could be it could be for some understand something dude i don't need a job i don't need to do any of this um i make more than enough that's that is for sure i do make more than enough without doing any of this so for me it is too much work so Uh, Tanya, you got an invite to the email address that you paid with. Whatever email address you signed up with is the email address that used to, to uh, that we use to um, get you into the private group. Uh, I'll I'll work on that after right after this video because I do want to make sure that group's going good. I'll make sure you're in, Tanya. Um, there's not a lot going on. Now look look in your look in your other thing. You should see a Facebook one. I'll I'll double check and make sure you got it. Here comes my lovely wife. Her life is can you see how tan she is? Her life is like one of them old women you see at the pool all the time that are like Okay, enough, bud. Real real tanned out, that's my wife. She she is off to the bye baby. She's uh she is off to the pool. After the pool, she'll have lunch with somebody from the pool that she meets. And then after that, she'll be in there feeding them freaking buffalo machines. Um, I won't see her the rest of the day. <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna get going. We've been on here laughing and giggling a half an hour, but the first big problem is space when you live in an RV. 
where do you put everything that you're selling? Um, is she getting that slot machine? I don't know, Tanya. I may go buy it and surprise her. Um, I got to figure out how to get it into the RV. Uh, it's not a simple thing. But I'll see what I, I... I may sneak over there and see what I got to do to buy the thing. Uh, the young man next to me looks looks to be a good size strapping young man. I may I may grab him to help me stick it in the RV. Um, they weigh they weigh approximately 300 pounds, and it has to go through that little door. So space for slot machine, but not for eBay inventory makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. Uh, keep it up and you'll go the way of what was the guy's name that we booted earlier. I don't mind booting people. Um, how do I find, wait, somebody's asking me something. Why, how do I find that group on Facebook? You have to pay me $299, Why? <laughs> um, it, it's a, it's a group, it's a private group, group for Q4. Um, Honestly, uh, I'm not sure if you're in it or not, Why, to be honest. Um, I'm going to go now because I really want to get in here and I want to send out an email so everybody can get to this group. I want to make sure that uh, they're in. Yeah, there you go. Bye, Austin. Everybody say bye to Austin. Bye-bye. He's gone. Another one bites the dust. Um, the one thing about having your own channel, it gets to be your rules. <laughs> you know, I'm going to have fun with this, guys. And if you come in here saying trash about me, you're gone. So learn from these guys as they get booted. Um, I'm not playing anymore. Yeah, I know haters are going to hate, but I, I, I got a weapon to fight back. It's called Delete, and I just deleted them. Um, guys, I'm going to put a link to my uh, to the, to the uh, webinar in, in the description of this shortly. Same guy name, uh, using NASCAR names. Yeah, it's just how it is. Um, I'm around, I'm pro you're probably going to see me less on YouTube because honestly, guys, I have to be dedicated to the Facebook group because that, those people are paying me to, um, provide them with information. I'm not saying that I won't be on YouTube. I just may not be on as often. Is there... Isn't there, isn't there another group from the webinars? Yeah, but nobody's in it. <laughs> Why? There's nobody there. Nobody does anything in that group at all. And Tanya chose to talk to me, by the way. Okay, Tanya, I'll get with you. Um, uh, if you're, if you want, we can wait a week or two, or if you need to talk now, we can talk now. Uh, I'm fine with either. Um, you may want to wait until you have more questions. But I'm fine either way. Uh, guys, I'm going to get going. I will put a link to the webinar. It's more of a workshop private group. I don't know what the hell to call it thing. But I'll put the method to get to, to join in the description of this in a little bit. Anybody, anybody that has signed up that's not in, Watch for an email from me, John, at homelessmillionaire.tv. I will figure out a way so that you guys can get into the group and go from there. Uh, remember, God loves you. God bless. And uh, get off your ass and go to work. All right. I'll talk to you. Bye, guys.